Mom, we're in the same house. Why are you calling me? Hey, Flippers, it's me, Carly, and this week on Cartwheel with Carly, I am joined by... Joe. And we were joined by the dogs, but they left us. So if you guys want to see our dogs, be sure to check out our dog's Instagram. It is Mickey.Sammy right here. This is the name. Make sure you type it in on your phone and check out the Insta. Or computer. Or computer. We don't judge. Whatever no you do. Discrimination. Today's video is a Q&A. Gymnastics edition, kind of, hopefully. The Laura Flips underscore said, asked us favorite gymnastics suit. So mine are these two. I want that one. Okay. What is your biggest fear in gym yeah. gymnastics and trampoline? In gymnastics would be flyaway because I'm slightly scared of hitting my toes on the bar. My biggest fear in trampoline would be cat twists. Same. Worst injury. Mine would have to be when I broke my foot a few years ago. You? Mine would be when I messed up my knee too. So, <laughs> I was doing a three-legged race and I fell. And it doesn't sound that bad, but trust me, my knee's been messed up for two years. Don't do it. Is it like it's not a fun time? I have no idea. We don't know what's wrong. Hardest skill to learn. We just gave me a kiss. Gymnastics would for sure be my kip. That took me so long to learn. And then trampoline. I uh, haven't had that much trouble learning skills, but my Rudy took me a while and I was really frustrated while learning it because I was really close. And my back full because I lost it and got it so many times. I don't get handstand. Those things scare me. No. What's your biggest pet peeve in gymnastics slash trampoline? My biggest pet peeve in gymnastics is when people like, when you get a rip and people are like, oh, don't you wear gloves? No, we don't wear gloves. We wear grips. And grips don't completely, like, get rid of rips for you. You'll still get them. They just kind of help a little bit. But they're meant to grip the bar. <laughs> and in trampoline, it's when people are sloppy. Favorite subject in school. I say this a lot, but my favorite subject is home time. It is on your timetable. Therefore, it's a subject. In elementary school but if you actually want the real answer and I hate school so I'm sad to say this but it's it's science specifically chemistry but I don't like school so I hate to admit that I actually kind of like one of the classes um I'd say science as well I'm a big biology nerd I'm a big math and science nerd in general school's a fun time least favorite subject in school least favorite English no Geog no music okay <laughs> Geography. Not usually the subject itself, it's like the teacher. Yeah, music for me was the teacher, geography is the subject. English specifically was the teacher, and I also am not a big fan of English. And then history was the subject and the teacher. Oh my god, I hate history. Ah! What's your biggest fear in general life? Would it have to be fit For sure fish. I hate fish. Like, looking at a fish in a fish tank makes me want to pee my pants and cry. Not going to camp. I need camp. Fave store. Mine would be garage or Target. Target. I love Target. Oh, I, forgot I love Target. Target. I like Costco. Costco's, Costco's great. Time. If you have a Costco near you, go to your local Costco and get the chicken fingers with fries and they are Oh, we also we also like places that have warm, cozy, comfy sweaters and sweatpants. How many years have you been competing? Uh gymnastics. I've been competing for Six years, I think. Roughly around six years. Trampoline, I am going into my fourth year. So this is, again, from Lore Flips underscore. It's Do You Like Aviva? I love Aviva, and I love your channel, too. Heart, heart. So, I love you. Thank you very much for your wonderful comment. And I do... Oh, Aviva! Aviva is one of my favorite clothing stores. My pants and are from there. Yeah, our pants are from there. I do love Aviva. And if Aviva's out there and would like to sponsor me, I am more than willing to accept your offer. Thank you very much. What's your favorite thing about trampoline? My favorite thing about trampoline... Oh, this is just like the interview. Oh my god, why do people keep calling me? I always freeze when this question comes up. I was in an interview for trampoline, and I was on the news, if you didn't know. 
and when they asked me this question I didn't know what to say because I froze but I had such a good answer after the interview finished and before it started. My favorite thing about trampoline would be the feeling you get when you overcome something. What a rush. And the Oh yeah, the rush you get when you try a new skill or when you try a skill you're like scared to do. Oh my god, that rush is so good. Next question Ask is, more. how tall are you? I am 5'3 and a half. Sadly, I'd love to be shorter. Half. But yeah, that's my height. Can't do nothing about it. And I don't know how tall I am, but I'm short. Shorter than her. So I'm just a little bit shorter than me. <laughs> What's your tightest skill? My tightest skill? Not that I know really what that means. But thank you for your question. <laughs> <laughs> My tightest skill would have to be kickouts. Kickouts are definitely a tight skill of mine. I'm really close, close with close. them. We get along well. Especially like back tuck and branny. Like branny and back skills. Kickouts are really good. Me and Cartwheel, we're pretty good friends. Been friends for a while. We're pretty tight. Oh my god, am I the Cartwheel? You are. Resemblance. I learned that in English class. Not resemblance. Imagery. No, not imagery. Like, when there's a knife, and the knife... Irony? <laughs> no, it's like... People walking around with guns makes her think of, like, other things that aren't related to guns. Like, this thing! That rem that's like... Symbolism! Oh. <laughs> symbolism. I am symbolism. I am a cartwheel. I'm not knives. <laughs> I jumped on my gum. When you aren't filming or doing trampoline and gymnastics, what oh, are you doing? I'm like hanging out with friends or at the mall making myself poor. Or eating. Ooh, food, I forgot Eating about and that. sleeping? Well, I don't like sleeping. I'm eating or with friends or with friends eating. I like my dog. We're good friends. Has your coach ever been so mad at you before? I would have to say, oh, yes, definitely, for sure, yes. I have been, I, one of the clubs I was at, my coach got so mad at me that they, I was, like, threatened to be kicked out of the gym, even though I didn't do anything. That's a whole other story time in itself. Biggest competition screw up. Mine would be when I was doing synchro with Aliza. And the routine, it's it's like a routine you do together. So you have to do the same skills at the same time. And I was kind of more backwards and it goes tuck jump, back tuck, brainy tuck. But I was like, I don't want to go back. I was like backwards towards the tramp and I was like, I don't want to do another backwards skill because then I'll be super backwards. So I decided I was going to do a branny back instead of back branny, which you can't do. So I was about to go for it, and then I realized I'm doing synchro. So that means I can't change the routine. So I did a pipe jump. And that was the end of the routine. She does soccer tournaments. I don't know what it's called, but tell us your soccer screw-up. Um, so my biggest screw-up was, I forget when this was, one time I was at a game and I was on defense and I tried to save the ball and I did because the goalie wasn't ready, but I kind of saved it by passing it to the goalie, but the goalie wasn't ready and moved out of the way, and then it scored on my own net. Good job! Have you ever cried at a competition before? Um, I have never cried at competition, but I have 100% cried in the car on the way home from competition many times. I don't cry in front of my teammates. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? I believe this person was asking for siblings, but maybe they were asking if I have lungs. So I have both, actually. I have two lungs and two siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brother and a sister and two healthy lungs that are both mine. Yours? <laughs> I have a brother and two lungs. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is teal, and it's the color of my wall, and my pillow, and my blanket. My favorite color is blue. Okay, highest score this year. 64.050, I believe is my highest score on trampoline this year. Um, and I'm not going to go check everything else, because that's going to take forever. Favorite leotard brand would be either Plum or Jaguar. How did you get into trampoline? I was at my cousin's birthday party and I had already been competing in gymnastics so I had a lot of flips and I was at my cousin's birthday party at the club I'm at now and 
I was just talking to them. I was like, I'm bored. I don't know what skills to do. So they asked me, like, do this, do this, do this. I was like, yeah, I did it all already. And then they're like, oh, what if you join our competitive team and then you can learn more trampoline skills? So I did. How'd you get into trampoline? I went to Sky Zone with you once. I know. I a dragged couple her, times, actually. I drag her to trampoline parks. Who's your favorite gymnastics idol? Rosie McLennan. I love her. I look up to her so much. And also Karen Coburn. Have you ever kicked a coach in the face? Yes. What level are you competing this year? I am going to be competing at level four for trampoline for sure. And then for mini, I will either be doing three or four, most likely three at the beginning. My favorite skill is right now half out tuck. My favorite skill is usually my newest skill that's most exciting. So half out tuck. Well, it's hot or penny roll either way. Favorite scrunchie. <laughs> so I know the person who asked this has a favorite scrunchie. I don't. This is my scrunchie collection. This is my scrunchie collection. There is a lot, a lot of scrunchies. My favorite would be either this blue black one. This green one is the one I use when I go to trampoline camps. This one I got at a competition and the people were nice enough to give it to me for free. This scrunchie my friend made for me. Actually, she didn't make it for me, but I took Ew. it. And this is my competition scrunchie. It is my leotard colors. It's blue with red rimming. What's your obsession? My obsession is highlighting and color coding and making notes and just making everything look presentable. Camp. Camp. Favorite skill. I just did this, but it's still half out tuck. Which direction do you like to use your knives? I really, I like to use my knives upside down with the, like, basically I like the sharp part facing upwards and the dull part that has no blades on it facing the food so that I can cut with ease. True fact, I'm a witness. Do you pronounce this thing a knee or a knee? And here in Canada, we say <laughs> knee. Knee. I know in America, you guys call it a knee. Hi, Noah. That's everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, Anthony's my boyfriend even though he doesn't know about it. And shout out to Ryan because he wanted a shout out. Oh yes, I have some shout outs. Okay. Shout out to Ryan. Don't follow him. Also, shout out to Gymnast for Life for commenting on basically all of my videos and just being super sweet in all the comments. And shout out to Lore Pear? Lower Pear. I'm not sure if we pronounced your name right. I'm really Pear? sorry if we didn't. Laura but Pear? she left a ton of comments on this video and she always leaves super nice comments no. on my videos. So if you guys want a shout out, be sure to just leave a comment down below with something nice and maybe you'll get a shout out next week's video, maybe. even though I don't do shout outs. Also, we are super close to 300 subscribers. So thank you so much. Great. And be sure to tell your friends about it because we are really, really close and we've got a super special video for you guys planned really soon. I think that's everything. No, it's not. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I do ask questions and polls on both of those. Also, you have to check out my vlog channel. I have started posting on there a lot more. And also, we've got a new channel. It's called The Flipping Three. I cleared up all the weirdness in the last video if you haven't seen that. Also, check that one out. <laughs> There's a lot of things you guys should check out so I'd get started on it now. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to, one, two, three, like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to flip out because my toast still broken. But she, my dog. he, Ooh, they're going to flip out. What did I do? Bye. 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 That hurt. Okay, so Laura under flip. Laura under flips, yep. What? I did that last time too. <laughs> do you have dog oh. food? Yeah. Can Mickey have some? Yeah. Trampoline, I'm bleh, bleh, bleh.